Thank you all. We're going to be going oldest to youngest, and I'd like to call up my brother Rico first to speak. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Enrico Maldonado. Pops call me Rick. And I'm the second oldest of Gus and Sandra's kids. And on, on behalf of our family, uh, I'd like to thank you all so much for being here with us today to celebrate the life and the legacy of Big Gus, of Gus. And may, not many know, but Big Gus claimed me as one of his own when he didn't have to. He seen the good in us, and he raised us like his own. Never once did he ever refer to me as a stepson or a stepkid. I was his boy, and he never neglected to tell us how much he loved us and how proud of us he was. And uh, the thing that always sticks out in my mind is when I was younger and I was in high school, a couple years in a row, <laughs> I tried out for the football team and uh, gave everything I had. I was, by the end of it, my ankles and my feet and my back were hurting and in pain, and I was there every day. And I tried and I gave it my all. And every year I got cut. <laughs> I love football. So, oh, it hurt. <laughs> but I remember going to him tell him I didn't make this. He wrapped his arm around me each time. And he gave me a big hug and said he loved me and he was proud of me. And at that football team, they missed out. That there was no doubt in his mind that I could have played and I would have played well. And that if he had a team, I would have been his number one pick. <laughs> and just recently, I had the opportunity to pay that back to him. And uh, not too long ago, I believe there was a round of some promotions. And he had, he's been trying to be a sergeant. And he was pretty down when his name didn't get picked. And me and my brother Marcos, we went out with him. And he was pretty bummed out about it, you know. And, but I was able to give him that same advice back to him. And then I told him, I said, Pop, you know, we know that you never quit at, quit at anything. And that you're going to just keep going and you're going to keep trying and you're going to be, you'll make it. You'll make, you'll make Sergeant one day, Pop. And it meant everything to him that we just took him out and we was able to just, you know, just be with him and console him and encourage him the same way he encouraged me. And uh, he always just thought about protecting us and being there for us and just taking care of us. He was the ultimate protector. Even as we were grown men and women and we had our own families and children, he always made sure we were prepared and we were safe and ready to take on life. And he always wanted to protect us, and, and, and that sure did come full circle a few days ago. When Dad's final breath came, doing exactly what he always taught us, and that was to protect our family at all costs. Take care of the pride. He felt he did fall in the line of duty, and that was the line of duty as a father and as a husband, protecting his pride like a king lion. Last Thursday, February 11th, the world lost a great man, but I thank God. I thank Jesus, my Savior, for the, the 30 years that he gave him to us. I realized that Gus was God's first, and we, he wanted him home more than we wanted him here. So I just say to you, Pop, rest now. We're going to be okay. You taught us right, and we'll see you again, Pops. This is your son, Reeks. I love you.